Hello and welcome to Amy's Boutique. I have yet another question that I've seen that I figured a video would be easier to answer. So today I will be showing you how to make a bow tie. I'm using a template once again from Macy Moo. Um, <clears throat> and my leather is from Polka Dotted Peach. Um, I figured I would make a cute Easter bow tie. So I've already done the cutting out. So these are the two pieces. This is everything you need, plus that, to make a bow tie. Actually, one more thing. A rubber band, a little hair tie rubber band. An actual rubber one, the black ones, because um, apparently the plastic ones melt. I did not experience that myself, but that's what I've heard. So the first step is you're going to take your middle piece and this is really big right because it needs to be a seam so you just take your hot glue and run it down the edge fold this edge into the middle Maybe. There we go. And then you're just going to do the same exact thing on the other side. And I didn't get it perfect, but it'll work. Um, I try not to overlap the two sides because that makes it thinner, which makes it easier to handle later in the later when working with it. Apparently, my glue is not lasting long enough. So this is what the middle piece will actually look like. So you see how it looks like it's sewn and that there's a seam. So then what you're going to do is grab your bow tie piece, then treat it just like a regular bow. Do some along here. And we're going to fold it over. You'll see that there's little folds. There's little a little dent to line it up with. Fold in the other side. So then your piece should look like this. So now is the pinching part. Um, so have your rubber band ready. You're going to fold it forward. So pinch it forward. And I kind of make a bit of a crease. And then you're going to bring... So you folded it in half. And then you're going to fold this piece back up. And this piece down. So I took that out of the frame for a second and then it should look like this. Then take your rubber band because so the hot glue doesn't normally hold very long. That's why I use the rubber band on this stage. So wrap it around a few times. I try to do at least three. Sometimes I can get four and I got four. So then you, you're going to make sure that your rubber band is right in the middle, which, wow, doesn't normally end up in the middle right off. So 
Then you're just going to wrap this around like a normal bow. Um, and I use this rubber band technique with any pinch bow that I do. I used to just not do pinch bows because I couldn't get this bow tie to work. And then someone gave me that tip one day and I love pinch bows now. It adds the extra dynamic to the bow. So normally I put a dab of glue and then put this down. Um, I like to put it through the rubber band. And so then I'll, whoa! We're gonna have to do a new rubber band. That was fun. Maybe. Sorry about that. Once again, pinch, pinch in half and then pinch it both sides up. I'm just going to do it three times this time. Maybe I did not too tight. There we go. All right. Back to this. And I like to make sure that these creases are nice and made before I do this. Okay, now I have to think about this for just a second. It doesn't matter because it's the same. I'm just going to think about which way the clip needs to go um, on a boy's shirt. I just use but a regular alligator clip that I use with my hair bows. Um, I was worried about the direction, but then I realized that this pattern is directionless. So, like, whichever way it needs to go. Um... I have seen some people say that shoe clips work really well. I haven't tried that yet. Um, but I plan to. Because my sister said my nephew was pulling them off. I only have girls, so <laughs> I've not actually self-tested a bow tie. So I put a bob of glue, and then I put this down, and then I clip put the clip down on top let it dry for a second then I'm going to put glue on the center piece I'm only going to go about halfway up because it's a little long um, but I don't go sparingly because I want it to hold really well. Then just bring it around. And I need a bit more glue. And then I'm going to hold that down for a minute because it's squirted out the sides, which is perfectly fine. I just don't want it to glue my clip shut. And you can't see what's going on because my hand's in the way. Let's see if I can rotate. There we go. Um, I have indeed done that multiple times, so I'm just going to try to avoid that. The glue's cool, cooled off enough. I'm going to touch it. <laughs> so then I'm just going to clean up around the edges a bit with my fingers. And then trim this off. Just trim it off. You can add another dab of glue under that. And there is your bow tie. It's as simple as that. So let's see it on something. I just realized I had this. And there you go. A cute, adorable bow tie.